Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Teardown, where in the previous episode we started the series and completed several missions actually, all with the primary and secondary objectives achieved. No major failures, so overall happy with that. In this episode we're continuing on and doing some demolition and stealing things most likely. So we have a message from uh, Lawrence Lee Jr. It is, you don't know me, but I've had a series of break-ins recently. In the last one I lost two very rare classic cars and guess what, I know who did it, Gordon Wu, the absolute... <clears throat> is now a bragging to everybody at the club about his two favourite possessions. The break-ins caused me a lot of property damage. I'd like to get Gordon, uh, to let Gordon taste some of his own medicine. Since you're in the demolition industry, I thought, well, I don't know <laughs> if you do this sort of work, but let me know if it sounds interesting. So that is the car wash, and this is uh, Villa Gordon here, home of mall manager and racing enthusiast Gordon Wu, his daughter Freya and f uh, fiancé Enid, uh, an exclusive mansion with a private racetrack in the backyard. That is the car wash. Dump at least three of Gordon's cars in the water. Okay, that might be quite good, but we do still have this other one here for the GPS devices. Steal GPS devices from Lee's boats and get the log files from the harbour office. I think we will try that one. Oh, I actually am not going to do that because I want to go back and get some upgrades for the shotgun, which I forgot to do previously. Uh, abort mission. It doesn't take long to get back and uh, get that done anyway. Considering this is a voxel-based, fully ray-traced game, it actually uh, runs surprisingly well at times. Anyway, so rounds, I'm going to increase the rounds to 48. I will increase the damage to probably max out, and then even the range, quite frankly. Let's just actually get all the upgrades we can. There we go. Rounds, range, and damage. So that's pretty good. So continue over to missions. Check out this one here and the GPS devices play. So this is, I think... How many GPS devices was it? I think it said there was... Hmm, one, two, three... Yeah, so it's four GPS devices. This is the one we did in the series. Yeah, okay. So we need to get the GPS devices and get them to here. So once again, I think I'm going to do a similar thing like I did previously. Move this boat over here. Move this boat over here. And we have three in one area. Then we've got this one and this one to do. So let's go ahead and use our standard opening procedure, which happens to include uh, a lot of fire. So I'll burn through that there, burn through that there. I will leave that where it is for now while I work on the other side. And job done. So that's fallen that way. And this one is also... Uh, no, it's it's falling the other way, but that's uh, that's that's reasonably fine. Okay, obviously security has been increased and tightened around here, which we can only understand, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and use the shotty on that. So one mooring removed, one another remove room, another mooring removed, and we'll go for a third mooring removed. And now we need to get on board. Which, just like previously, I think we will just use the blowtorch to cut a bit of a hole in the side here, allowing us to gain access to the back. Although I have to be careful because obviously part of this is uh, alarmed, so we don't want to be we don't want to be removing that. And I still don't think I can get in there. Um, I might have to use one of these boxes just to. Well, I mean that was that was just a silly thing to do, wasn't it? Uh, can we just stop? Does it just stop there? Yes, there we go. And we're in. That's all we need. Right, so that can go there. We have obviously already checked this boat out, so we don't need to do so again. Let's work our way around. So we're going to move this tug over back to that other place. Which is fine. Looks like we've got that speedboat there. So that's the speedboat I think they originally wanted nicked in the first place. I originally bought, was it, and then we had to remove part of the <laughs> the dock. Okay. So, like we've done previously, I'm going to just park this up at the back. Not perhaps with the extreme vigour that I did previously, but we'll still gently nudge it in. Like so. It really does... For some reason, that section there really does uh, kill the game. But we're here. All right, that's good. That's good enough. Um, and there we are. Oh, that's part of the boat as well. Not anymore, it isn't. So we just get that over there. Ah, oh, and that's attached to the mast. All right, okay, fair enough. Job 
we've done. Let's send that over there. So there is one GPS device close to our extraction point there. Let's go ahead and get the other car because, oh sorry, the other boat, which we know is over in this direction. I might as well follow the road because we know that fish. Um, we know that we have to open all these anyway, so we might as well take our time in doing this. I reckon that this will be locked now, though. Is it locked? Uh, no, it isn't locked, actually. There we go. So this is the boat. This is the one that is armed. Let's just pick these up, get those over there, and we'll just take this boat, part of the boat, now, over there. This is a lamp, so I have to be a little bit careful. Um, this doesn't really matter where we park this for now. It's just a temporary location. Back to the objective. So we've got this boat here, which we can't really do much about. So we'll have to pick that up. And then we need to pick that up. And we need to pick that one up. Right, hang on. Let me just have a look at that one first. I think it's the... Is it the robot? It might be. Just open these doors. Yeah. But it's on the robot. Which means we can... Break that. Break that. And then break this side. Like that. And we'll just drag that boat up and back. Like that. Come on. Out you come. You can hear it scraping on the ground. I mean, it's alarmed, but let's be honest. I think that's an aftermarket alarm because it's really doing nothing. And there we go. There's three in a row. Okay, let's figure out how we're going to do the other ones. As I've mentioned before, what I'm probably going to do is we'll look at the alarm one up here. It's most likely going to simply be a case of run in and then drive around. I must be sick of having to buy new doors. Although that's the least of the demolition that we've made. Uh, it's over here, is it? And this is a primary objective as well. There's the alarm system there, yeah, okay. Just pick this up, yeah. Just put it over there. And photocopy it. Just store that in my corner. And we can just get rid of all that. Oh, there we go. There's an antique pirate dagger. Very nice. Right. Um. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do. And that's snapped off, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, just move it out the way. And now underneath it. And we're going to get in the nice speedboat. Which is very fast indeed. It primary characteristic being speed. And a boat, actually. That's another primary characteristic of it. Um, I also can't turn it round. <laughs> Do I need to turn it round? Not particularly. I didn't just take it backwards. That's fine with me. Uh, that'll be about right. And I'm going to drive it backwards to there. But getting up might be an issue. We will see. We will see. This is only a, a tentative plan. Let's get in this little car here because it's really nippy. We'll drive backwards. And there we go. So I think what we'll do, the plan is, pick this up, start the alarm, get onto that, drive all the way around, pick that up, start, obviously the alarm's continuing on, jump in that, reverse, smash into this, jump over, alarm, 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 exit. Yeah. Nah, I think we'll try it. So, quick save. Oh, 
Ah, oh, actually, it's over here, the alarm. And go. Let's see if any of this actually functions and works as intended. Whoops. Attack's worse. Up and around. Computer, done, yep. Over here, reverse. I think it does actually go faster <laughs> forward. So this has already uh, made it harder to get this done. But I think hopefully we'll be alright. Ooh, got a bit stuck there. Yeah, we could be we could be in a lot more efficient with this. And that's not what I wanted to do. And uh, there we go. So if that boat was turned around the other way, probably would have shaved two or three seconds off there. The parkour bit trying to get off the boat, again, another couple of seconds. And if I rearranged the other boats at the end there, them three bits, I reckon we could have shaved. I reckon maybe if we were lucky, if we were lucky, maybe between seven and ten seconds at an absolute push. And obviously there could be some. There's a lot of, um, oh yeah, and that there when I actually went forward rather than back. I reckon there's some improvements to be made there, but you know what? It's a new high score. I will continue on. 14.4 seconds remaining for all five objectives, and we have mission time of 8 minutes 48. So let's continue. And let's see about this car one that they mentioned previously. So you've reached a new rank, Trespasser. A new tool has been delivered, which are the planks. And you can use them to, uh, well, have ramps uh, and connect them like ropes, which I think is good but i would rather just have ropes in um but yeah you can use them as planks to walk up there and say for example if i connect those two you can see it uh it does actually move them all so very smart anyway let's have a look at our computer here we have tools and planks i'm going to increase the max length of the plank because i find that to be the main thing i use them for to like bridge over things we have a message here from Parissima again. Thanks for taking care of the GPS devices. Just one problem. They sent. They seem to be of a new, more secure type, and I can't find their recent locations without the decryption key. My best bet is Lee keeps the decryption key in his office safe, but it might be also in the production safe. I have at least one favor to ask. Uh, oh, one last favor to ask. And I think you already know what that might be. This is in Lee Chemicals, which is heavy lifting. So that's the safes we have to do. Okay. I think we'll have a look at the safes next time because I think we'll do the Gordon Villa one, which is the car wash. So this is something that I've personally only played once before and I've only managed to get a very bare minimum of achievement on it. I've only managed to get the three. So I'm hoping, hoping that we can get a, at least more than three. But we'll have, to, we'll have to see about that one. So having a nice look into his, yeah, this is a very, very nice and quite opulent place. Not so much now. Right. You can see one of the cars out there flashing with the alarm on it. Doors are automatically opening, which is good. Let's go here. I'm just going to check out all of the rooms first. Because we've got things that are valuable... Ah, and all this is actually concrete, by the look of it, but it's wood panelling. And there's an elevator. This is a bronze statue. It looked like a duck. Oh, wow! So you can actually use the elevator. And I did notice that there was a valuable on the top there. Let me just go here. Oh, what? Where'd that valuable go? Oh, it's stuck up there now. There we go. Um, this is a problem. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not a problem. Well, Mission Impossible it. Job done. We're out. We're out. We're good. Okay, continue on. Have a look around. And... Oh, I mean, it feels a shame breaking it, doesn't it? Popcorn, that's like a popcorn maker. Is this a personal cinema? Oh, it is. 
The ultimate collection of movie one-liners by Gareth Pickett worth 15 generic units of currency. Cool. Yeah, so it's like a cinema and a bar area. And apparently, they all drink Nuka-Cola Quantum. Got an executive bathroom. Another executive bathroom. And a third executive bathroom. And I'm pretty sure they have a sauna around here somewhere as well. Pool tables, which are apparently made of much sterner stuff <laughs> than they used to be. Let us have a look down here. Oh, we've also got a spiral staircase up to the roof by the look of it. Oh, it's penthouse suite. But also, what's that? Uh, penthouse gardening by Liza Green, worth 20. Is this to be... What's this? Is this a cigar lounge or something? Oh, just a walk-in closet? Could be. Uh, it's even less of something now because I can't see anything. Alright, nothing around here. Can't nick that painting. I mean, we haven't even done any of the objectives yet. I'm just breaking my legs, but luckily I landed in the pool. Yeah, so I'm just checking out the buildings first. And yep. Yeah. And you there'll be some in the fridge. Russian caviar worth 80. Close those. We're not savages. Just criminals. And looks to be a pantry. Yeah, and tomato soup worth 15. That's expensive soup. Another bathroom there. Oh, there's the sauna. Yeah. And cassette player. I don't know why I did that, just fancied it. And, oh, another vacuum cleaner. Okay. Right, let's start looking at the objectives then. So, open the map, we have, it says, dump at least three of Gordon's expensive cars in the water. Wired alarm boxes, breaking kind of alarm boxes triggers the alarm. So we have one in here, one in that building, one behind this greenhouse in what looks to be a, what's that, a, I think it's just a garage. We've got one right near the greenhouse. We've got one on a flatbed truck and one in another garage there. But it does specifically state water. Well, there's water there. Hmm. Well, this one's an easy one. We can place that wherever we need to. But I've also got a bit of a theory about these things. And I'm going to test this theory out. And it only really occurred to me on a previous mission. Quick save. These cars are made of metal. We have a blowtorch. <laughs> um, it's a bit on fire, but... <laughs> Brilliant! Brilliant! Oh, what? Oh, it set the alarm off. Oh. So it doesn't work. Really? Oh, I thought it was being really clever then. Right. Yeah, so I thought it was being really clever by moving that then. I think it just... Does it despawn it? It does. See that? It's despawned it. Quick load. Maybe if I cut more off... It'll it'll won't despawn it because it's a bigger chunk. That's what I think it is. If I cut like the entire spoiler assembly off, like that, hopefully it won't despawn when I go out of range. Um, I've also put it in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> but. But, proof of concept, success. That's all it was. So, there's one done. Okay. If we can do that to a lot of these, then that's all right. I have a feeling that this is a bit cheating, honestly. I do think like it's a bit sort of cheating, this. But, we do what we must because we can. So, can we do the same with this one? 
I'll take that box out of it because it'll just end up burning. And uh, open the boot once again. It's got some really rocky suspension. It's actually rocking sideways more than it is up and down. Stay up. Oh, okay, it's not staying open. I'll just get rid of the boot entirely. Apparently it's not. Ah. Yeah, I think that's going to despawn, isn't it? Mm, it's not despawning, no, actually. Oh, hang on. I should really look where I'm going. <laughs> right, let's get this in the water. There's another one in the water. Let's check out this building. Right. Yep, another alarm one. But I think we'll leave that attached for now. Um, I'm actually going to check out this bit here. I have seen a video of someone completing this level. Admittedly, when I watched it at the time, I've never, I hadn't played the level, so I wasn't really understanding a lot of what they were doing. But, there's a barbecue charcoal made from rare protected hardwood. <laughs> Good grief. That's excess, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I saw them, and they did do a, a run where it was just blistering through things it was it was brilliant to see absolutely brilliant actually remember we just take the lock off can't we must be some trophies here we will open 1994 golfing trophy by the look of it right um i'm opening this up just in case we need to launch a car through it and out the window because i have a feeling that's what we might have to do we go. So that car on the back of that low loader there, that's all right. Um, but what I'm going to do, put that there. This one, quick save. I hope that the first thing that's introduced uh, in terms of big patches, or even just any, mini, any patch, is uh, when you quest press quick load it says are you sure you want to load because there's at least a couple of times where I've almost pressed load rather than save I can understand the save being are you sure like not uh, you don't need confirmation on that but certainly the uh... <gasps> ah, that's some good handbrakes on that car right there we go so yeah <laughs> I hope that's added so this one we can send out through that way um I was going to try and get that. Yeah, that's... Oh, my good grief. That's a frame rate killer. Right, well, that's over there. That's... That's hopefully all right. So this one, we can go out, go that way. That one, down that way. Uh, where are the other two? There is one in here and one in here. So let's check out the one in the garage. Um... Yeah, go ahead and move that as well. Well, I've actually already done that one. So this one. I reckon this one's going to be very similar. I reckon this one we'll be able to chop the back off it or something. Let's try. I if there's any specialist tools over here. No. So this one looks quite nice. All right, all right, we can chop the back off that. Quick save. Blow torch. Um, that feels like it's going to despawn, but I'll, I'll do my best. And, uh, I think it'll fit in the water there, but you know what, there's a slightly larger body of water over here, so I'll let it go in there. Job done. And then it's just the final one that I've not actually looked at, so I will take this to it's over here. Of a race track. I noticed that the race track as well, actually, we should probably do this before anything else. The race track has a um, it has a best score, so you can actually race on the race track. 
track record is 31.31. Okay, let's let's make it a flying lap, shall we? Or do we have to do we have to have a? I don't know. It says get ready, so I think we have to have a. We can't have a flying lap. One, go. I should really look at the racetrack first before doing this. Good grief, this is really slidey. Racing line here. Nice racing line, good. Not a racing line here, but whatever. So, oh, looks like we've got a bit of a hairpin here. Run that one. And I'm not going to make it. Not in time. And took the light out. I reckon I could get that down. <laughs> We're not going to, but I reckon we could easily uh, shave a couple of seconds off that. That looks to be a just like a muscle car. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. And in here we have it's like a workshop. I actually thought this is where the car was. It is. So is, it, is it this one? No, it must be above us then. Or is it not? Or is it not? Is it, is it that? Oh. Oops. I think it's that car. It's got no wheels on it. Can we put wheels on it? Um, no. We might have been able to, but someone just smashed the car lift up. Okay then, we're going to have to do something a bit different. This one isn't alarmed though. Doesn't, doesn't seem to be alarmed anywhere. I have a cunning plan. So we're going to put that there. We'll take... Uh, this car in the back here. Oh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, you don't know, all my gliomes are going to get close. Um, about there will be fine. Yep, and we're going to get our plank, and we're going to attach a plank to there and a plank to there, and we'll drag it. Okay, it's a lot heavier than I originally thought it was. Yeah, it does say target. Um, quick serve. So let's just... Ah, see, the thing is, it is actually, yeah, a set length. So it's not like rope. It doesn't coil up. It is a set length. And I don't think I'm going to be able to tow this out. Not with this vehicle. Okay, we will have to use a larger vehicle. Luckily, I know where one is. It's here. There's an underside there. I wonder if there's anything to see. No, put out here. Some of the game that has bits like that where it's completely indestructible. It's also listing over. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the front wheel is a little bit, a little bit flat, but oh, no, it's okay. It's not as agile as it once was. Let's get this in here. So we still have good power. I mean, there's a, we can always get. Is there a crane? I thought there was a crane somewhere. What on earth happened there? Oh, that stupid door. There we go. Right. Hopefully that's about right. I think. Let's see how this goes. Much better. Much better. Right. You can see we've got a little bit of a glitch with the physics there. It's like sort of rubber banding with the with the stick, but it's not a huge problem. Oh. I mean, there's not going to be much left. It did say drop the car in the wall. There's not going to be much car left once we've done this. And... <laughs> oh, we almost got in the back there. And we got the noise to say it's completed. Um, 
someone's holiday home. There's a little little jeep there. We'll have a jump in that in a second. Oh, thermometer. Uh, yeah, it's nice in here. I like this. Box of wine worth twenty-five. Oh, this was the shower. Uh, it's going to leak a bit more now. Sorry. Um, at least it won't have as much condensation. Every cloud and all that. Okay, so we're looking at the map then, and we can see that we have only got two cars remaining, and both are over here. This is good. So I reckon we can probably do that. Especially with a fast vehicle like this. It's pretty good, this car. You know what? It would be rude not to attempt that uh, time again, wouldn't it? Should we try it? I think we should. So. Two. One. Go. So. Take the racing line outside in. Around quite fast. That's not a racing line, but whatever. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Look our way towards the outside. Come further in. And you see we're going through the gates. There's a reason why we, you, know, you can't cheat on the other ones. This is where I binned it last time, but that's not too bad. That tyres are there to absorb the damage there. This is where I absolutely wrecked it. Oh, no! It's even slower! I guess it's just a slow car. That was terrible. Oh well. Don't clap that. We won't attempt that again. I'm just taking the lights out. That's the least of this car's problems. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and try this. Our way out is through there. I should probably check whether or not these open. <laughs> and also, that's some nice colours on the elevator. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll open these gates because that's where I have to get to, you see. These gates... Oh, they are automatic. Um, the advantage is that I can override the automatic system. Like that. So, I should get back to the sledgehammer. Get that over there. Don't need that. That's that's metal. There we are. Trying to give it up. Right. Good. We will head back and we will attempt this. Uh, actually, before we do that, I do want to... I was going to say I want to shoot that generator, but that might set everything on fire. But I still want to shoot the generator. Hell's bells. That, that that made a bang. That made a bigger bang than I expected, actually. <laughs> right, okay. Let's give this one a go. Um, that wasn't there previously. <laughs> so, quick save. And here we go. That didn't work. That didn't... Okay. Uh, quick load. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you quick save it. <sighs> right. Darn it. Darn it. I still, this still might be success. <sighs> Just drop off the edge. The Quick load. <laughs> right, I think we need to alter that slightly. Um, this. I keep damaging, but I'm going to put it there. This one. I'm trying to drive further forward. But it's not working out. Oh, actually, that might be a better car. That might be a better course of action. Yeah, that'll do it. Right. Here we go. Ugh. <laughs> Didn't work out again. Yeah, I can't move that properly. That's the problem. Um, I'll just take me time. That's going in. Yep. Get in the big truck this time. Send the truck into the water. Oh, come on. There's no way <laughs> that that would do that. 
I'm trying to shave every second, again every second that I can, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, it's, it's like more, I need more speed, less haste is the right term. Because I'm not checking back at what's happened, so I need to play it a bit cooler. Okay, quick save, let's go. So out, forward, fast, go. That goes over the edge. That's actually not in the water, is it? I... No, that's not in the water. Once again, it didn't work. I know what might be a better idea. This one first, like that. And then that one, yes! That was the way to do it. Let's go. That was certainly the way to do it. Because it didn't trigger the alarm because it was technically still attached to the car. Remember, it's jump it put it in the water. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll park that there. And there we go. Um, certainly my best time. New high score six. That is time left 40 seconds and 40.6 seconds remaining. Mission time 19 minutes 26 seconds. Happy with that. Very happy with that. I do think it was a little bit of a cheat cutting the wings and things off the car. But, you know, it is what it is. We are now score 25, the breaker. I'm going to open this up and we shall see what we have. We now have a pipe bomb. That's a pipe bomb. So also, it really doesn't really do much damage. It certainly does less than the shotgun. Which is uh, interesting. Let's go over to here. Um, we've still got the decryption key. That's the next mission. We might have a look at that in a moment. Um, I do want to upgrade the blast of our pipe bomb and get some more rounds. But let's have a look at this mission then. So the other mission was uh, for Parissa. It's heavy lifting. Lee Chemicals. Let's GPS. The GPS encryption key is Lee's safe. Move the safe to escape vehicle if possible. Also get the other safe and pick up all the key cabinets. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. So this is our third time back at uh, Lee's plant, and obviously the security is being increased more and more as we play. But we have security defeating devices. There we go. So I'm just removing that gate because it's probably the way in. And let's see what we have. We have primary there, but with one, two, three, four secondaries. That's a key. That's a key. That's a key. The primaries are safe, but the secondaries are safe as well. That does change things slightly. Because safes, spoiler alert, are heavy. Which means it's going to be probably difficult to get them. Um, so that's where, the, that's where that is. Ah, we can see that we've got this barred window here. Um, could just use a pipe bomb. Oop, that's close. Yeah, that's, that's opened a bit of that up. It's all right. I'm going to I'm going to start here potentially. Should have really looked on the other side. What's this? Yeah. Come on. Tile cutter. Oh. Should have really looked on the other side to see if there was any uh explosives or anything, but you know, didn't. Right. Um, I'm trying to get over there. So the fastest way will be through this again. I don't think these pipes are very useful. <gasps> there was... <laughs> there was them around here all along. Mm, fair enough. Let's move that. Don't think there's anything up here of valuable, uh, of note or of 
No, no nothing of any value up there. Right, so let's get rid of all this. There we go. And once again, we'll open this up. And I am aware I'm using a lot of shotgun rounds here, which is worrying. Although we still got quite a few left. So that's our potential route through. Grab that, start the objective, start the mission. Um, I'm going to have to clear some of this rubble away. Mainly the big pieces like that. Then we come through here. So just getting rid of this stuff. Through here. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Through here, we need a way across. Um, those card containers are looking fairly decent. And then we'll have to check this out as well. Shouldn't we be using shotguns for things like this? To be fair. Blowtorch instead. I mean, that could, we could always pack that in there, but I think it would be rude it was not using the crane, although, quite frankly, the crane at time is somewhat difficult to use. I want to say, at times, I mean always. Because of how you have to use it like that. Um... Okay, um, well I found a new way across, <laughs> we just extend the arm, and, I mean, yeah, I don't think we're using the crane, I mean, is that just a way across there? Could we plank across with that? Plank from there to there, can we? Yeah, we plank from there to there. So can we just plank from there to here? Um. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Brilliant. Right. Uh, plank, 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 plank. Job done. Perfect. Uh, the other objective is up there. Then there's one down there. So we need to get in here. We do have a blowtorch, so we will use that. I mean, there's some heavy vehicles elsewhere I could potentially use, but, you know, it's not an issue. He says, not removing. Oh, is that removed now? No, it's still attached, apparently. What's it attached to? I can't see it attached to anything. Oh, it's like barred at the bottom. Fair enough. So we'll pick that up. Get rid of that. Uh, and then we pick that up, and then we'd have to go upstairs. So I'll remove all these boxes, like I say. But optimising our routes. Every little bit helps. And I think I will use the spray can on this mission. Up here. And yeah, all this rubbish is in the same place as it was previously when we came. So we'll just put it all on one side. This is the bit I'm not too confident about. I'm not too sure whether or not I'll be able to get in there safely. Because that's where I need to get to. Luckily, luckily, we have our planks. But, sadly, not many. To there. Let's see what happens if we would shotgun that open. I've just shot the plank. Brilliant. So I'm going to have to use another plank. And then... Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Where's the alarm box? It's on the other side, luckily. Right. And then... Down here. Pick that up. And then run this way. And this is where it gets difficult. Because that is a safe. Let's check the other one out. Also a safe. But. Let's get rid of these. Don't need that. No, we do need that. The advantage is. If we wanted to, we could drive the vehicle straight in the back. 
But I think I have a better idea here. Uh, quick save. Before I start to motion this. I reckon if we... Did that. Darn it. Quick load. <laughs> That's why you quick save, because I thought I'd just clip the alarm and then set it off. So back to shotgun. Don't really do any further. Um, I need to get rid of this pipe, actually. Yeah, I am standing on a pipe and blowtorching it. What of it? There we go. And I cannot move that pipe. That's heavy pipe. Okay, well, this is, after all, a smart game. We can cut it in half and it weighs less. Mm, correct, but it also still weighs a lot. Oh, actually, no, that hasn't cut it in half. There's one little section there. Now it should be lighter. There we go. What I'm planning on doing is driving the vehicle in between here and flinging the safes out both sides. Is that attached to the ground there? No, it's just really heavy. I think that'll work. So... First chink in the armour for the game. Something just randomly floating in midair. Let's back up. And we just park it in here. About there. So we fling that safe out one side and we fling the safe out the other. <laughs> Will that work? Well, there's only one way of finding out in there. Um, right, let's just let's just try it. Can I get rid of that? Problem is, I need to open up that side now. Can I get move this bookcase along? Quick save. I'm gonna get that as close to the edge as I possibly dare. Because even then, look, even then it's still heavy. It's still not getting over that. I'm going to have to shoot that. Okay. Right, that, I, I think we just literally we kick it. <laughs> just kick it in, kick it in, it lands there. Right, let's try that. Um, Where's the other safe? I need to get over to there. Darn it. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's open this up. Go inside. And I'm going to see the best course of action this one is. We do have propane tanks, so quick save. I'm going to just move these along a bit, actually. Like that, just because I don't want them all blowing up. And just sort of point in the right direction. That was a good bit of demolition. That's pretty much... Oh, no, it's not. It's removing the floor. All right, we're just going to have to use our with shotgun. Luckily, we have enough shotgun shells to deal with this. And move this. I think it's going to fall down there. I'm going to have to plank that. Make sure we don't plank this. I think that's realistically all I can achieve there. But there is a problem. How do I get... If, that, if I fling that in there, can I... Oh, I can, ra I can jump across it. Okay. Then we've got, a, we've got a plan now then. So we will pick up this to start the mission run over to there, across to there, fling these in, drive around and exit. I think we can do that. Let's... I'm going to optimise this path a little bit because there is debris all over and I just... I don't want... I don't want that... To, I don't want to be hitting this. And... just want to remove all pieces that we may potentially ran into. If I wanted, I could... 
Maybe even drive this way. No, because there's loads of stuff in the way. I could probably optimise it a little bit by removing these lampposts. Um... There we go. Oh, that's on fire. Let's just extinguish that. And, you know what? I might take this down. But as you can see, I'm taking it down towards the direction of it I want it to fall. It's going to hit the tree, though, isn't it? Um... Yeah, it's just resting on the tree. We freed up a little bit, I think. Okay, I'm going to get the spray paint and I'm going to spray this. Because I think I'll... Because of the distance I have to travel, I'll end up forgetting bits. So this is our starting location. We will go along here. Through here. Up and around there. To here. Back around, straight up the stairs, round, hopefully not as squirrely as that. This is the one that I'm really concerned with. I reckon I'll end up missing this up a bit. Pick that up, along here, turn there, there's another one, then it's basically that way, and jump across. That's the one that might really scupper the run. To be fair, what may, and I think ex I, I actually expect um, to go wrong, is the is the safes. I think we'll try and fling them in, they just won't work. Okay. Here we go. First attempt on this run. Following the path directly. Two keys. Up and around. That's good. Very, yep, I like that. I could have taken a bit of the roof beam out there, and that would have helped me out potentially. First safe. First safe is not going in. First safe is in. First safe is not in. Second safe is not in. First safe is in. <laughs> Other one's in. Go, go, go. We're in. We're in. 20 seconds. 18. 15. Helicopters up ahead. Both safes need to be in here. There's two safes. And we're away! Okay, happy. Um, look at that, we're following the line almost exactly until about there. I reckon a bit of a roof beam taken out there would have shaved me a second off because I hit it and slowed down. Um... Obviously, the slowest bit was trying to get the safes back on because they jammed between the vehicle and the wall. At least they didn't slide down between. If they had slid down between the truck and the building, that would have been it. Restart. Uh, you know, quick load. But it didn't, and we managed to move them back on. But that, I reckon if we try that again and maybe alter the terrain such that we can slide them in a bit better, we could shave 10 seconds off that. But... I'm not going to. I'm going to class that as a success. And I think we will leave it there for this episode. So far then, every single one... I went up to Crook. You've reached a new rank. A new tool has been delivered. It is a... It's a gun. It, it is a gun. Um, <laughs> right. That's a thing. So you can shoot locks off? Oh, sweet! Um, we have a couple new messages. One from Gordon Wu. I still don't know how, but Lee found out about our the cars and totally overacted. I just saved the life of those poor cars and he goes completely mental and vandalizes my property. Can you believe that? He wants us to remove the top half of the tower. <laughs> I've got a... Uh, yeah. I thought about ways to get back at him and finally nailed it. The iconic water tower at Lee's Chemicals. His grandfather built it with his bare hands and has since become a symbol of the entire Lee family. They even use it in the logo type. Make the tower a little less would make a more suitable symbol for the small man he is. So that is the tower. That's at Lee Chemicals. It's only one one mission, one star mission. Um, 
Oh, well, there you go. We can potentially, we've got more upgrades to get. Right, I think we will leave it there then. As I said, uh, we're currently at Crook, which is 30. Uh, obviously, next rank 40 will be all right there. So the next mission then, I think I think there is only that one at Lee Chemicals. The mall we've completed, um, West Point Marina we've completed, uh, Villa Garden we've completed. So it's just the tower at Lee Chemicals. So next episode, we'll do that and see, as always, how we get on. Hope you have enjoyed the episode in the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.